In this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting uh, abstract regarding berberine. Bottom line is, it appears that uh, it is helpful. But let's go back and, and uh, see how, how this came up. I get the greatest comments from uh, viewers. PMO was commenting on the cinnamon video <clears throat> and uh, basically said, look, I've never heard of it uh, being a great treatment, it tastes, but it tastes good, no side effects, packed with nutrients, keto-friendly. By the way, saline may be a little bit better. But here's the next interesting point. So part of that video about cinnamon was talking about uh, cinnamon's um, reputation for helping with uh, carb metabolism, like supporting metformin. As for metformin, here, so back to PMO's comment, as for metformin and other so-called medications for diabetes, they are prone to side effects, some of them serious. Berberine, a traditional Chinese herb extract, has been shown to have the same effect as metformin without the side effects, yet no physician, as far as I know, prescribes it. Please check, and uh, here's the the item. Um, <clears throat> by the way, once you see that number, all you have to do is PMID, PubMed ID 2549834, and the abstract will come up. I have to admit, though, I'm, I had, had to ask, well, did you try Googling Ford Brewer Berberine? Because I already have a video. Now, the reason I'm doing this one, though, even though I already have one, the other one went into a little bit more details about biochemistry and things like that. This one is um, going a little bit different direction, and um, let's talk about it. Actually, it goes into a very practical set of clinical trials and a meta-analysis, which I didn't cover uh, very well in the previous video. First of all, just some uh, 30,000 feet berberine. This is what it looks like. Um, there's a, a name for that, another name for that plant. I can't remember what it is right now. I'm sure somebody will that's watching, so please remind me. Uh, it's The plant's dried, ground up into a, a powder. I think it's yellowish. And um, here's the actual chemical itself. Berberine hemisulfate, as you see, a couple of uh, uh, benzene or six carbon uh, rings with some uh, sulfates on it, a couple of uh, a five carbon uh, ring with a couple of oxygen uh, replacements, nitrogen in one of these. So <clears throat> there you go. Now let's get to the actual uh, study. So this was in Ethno, the Journal of Ethnopharmacology. Again, not really a New England Journal or JAMA, not even a Lancet, but it's still, you wouldn't expect this topic to hit that level of academic uh, journals. As you look at the abstract itself, it does appear that they may have used good techniques. Now, why do I say may? Well, <clears throat> I can't prove it because I'm not going to pay another 60 bucks to go behind uh, Elsevier's uh, paywall. And again, as you see here, it's in one of those Elsevier journals, and they want 30, 50, 60 bucks every time you see an article. I'm not going to do it. But <clears throat> let's take a look at the actual uh, information here. Um, <clears throat> uh, Meta analysis. So, again, did they actually go through Cochrane? Uh, uh, library? Yes. As you see down here under materials and methods, they did. Um, so again, that starts to sound um, like some good study techniques. Meta-analysis on what? The effect and safety of berberine in the treatment of type 2 diabetes, also hyperlipemia and hypertension. Uh, just a reminder in case you don't know the words, hyper is too much. Lipe, lipe is uh, lip, lipids, too many fats, emia in the blood. Hypertension is too much, uh, too high a blood pressure. So, yes, berberine's been used, and there are actually clinical trials, which they pulled up <clears throat> on each of these components. Oh, I uh, couldn't remember the name of the plant. Here it is, coptis root and philodendron Chinese. 
Um, <clears throat> it's been used in uh, Chinese herbal medicine for centuries. Uh, now, what are the what were the materials and methods? They searched a lot of databases, English databases, including PubMed, Science Direct, Cochrane Library, EMBase, etc., and uh, Chinese databases as well, including. As you see, we've got some Chinese names there among the authors, so it's evident that they speak both speak and read both Chinese and English, uh, including Chinese, uh, China Biomedical Literature Database, Chinese Technology Journal, full, Journal Full Text Database, Chinese Journal Full Text Database, and Wan Fang Digital Periodical Full Text Database. Relevant studies were selected based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria, which again, I'm not going to get for this video because I'm not going to pay to go behind Elsevier's paywall. Meta-analysis was performed with RevMan 5.0 software. So again, another indicator of uh, some fairly good technique here. After data extraction and quality of studies assessment. Now let's look at results. <clears throat> I'm going to read some details on this because I think these are interesting. They, were, they found 27 randomized cl controlled clinical trials. So again, these are not observational studies. These are randomized controlled clinical trials. Total of 2,569 patients, seven subgroups in the meta-analysis. So this starts to break it down, um, what we call microtoma, in other words, slice it into a bunch of very narrow areas. So obviously there couldn't have been a whole lot of patients for each of these areas. I think that is the biggest, um, number one, the fact that I'm not looking into um, behind that paywall, and number two, and part of the reason I'm not gonna pay to do that is this, 2,569 patients, that's not a huge number of patients. But again, let's save the criticism for later. Let's talk about what, what they did see. Seven subgroups in the meta-analysis, berberine versus placebo, or berberine with intensive lifestyle intervention versus intensive lifestyle intervention alone. Berberine combined with oral hypoglycemic versus hypoglycemic alone. Berberine versus oral hypoglycemic. Berberine compared with oral lipid-lowering drugs versus lipid-lowering drugs alone. Berberine versus oral lipid lowering drugs and berberine combined with oral hyper, hypotensor, in other words, blood pressure medicine, versus um, blood pressure medicines. Berberine versus uh, oral hypertensive uh, blood pressure meds. So again, as you see, a lot of uh, different study questions here for 27 studies and less than 2,600 um, patients. But again, some, um, uh, some interesting technique at looking at the meta-analysis, and I think clearly enough, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. In the treatment of type 2 diabetes, we found that uh, berberine with lifestyle tended to lower the level of FPG, fasting plasma glucose, PPG, postprandial glucose, and hemoglobin A1C. Uh, I think they left out the word um, better, or, or as well as, or than lifestyle intervention alone or placebo. The same as berberine. So in other words, you'll see this pattern as you go through these. Berberine plus the treatment was better than the treatment alone or better than the berberine alone or the treatment alone. So it, <clears throat> let me read through and you, you'll get the point. Um, <clears throat> The same as berberine combined with oral hypoglycemics to the same hypoglycemics. Um, we found that berberine with lifestyle intervention tended to lower the FPG, PPG, and hemoglobin A1C. Um, again, better than placebo and better than the medication alone. Uh, in terms of the uh, lipids for the trip treatment of hyperlipidemia. Berberine with lifestyle intervention was better than lifestyle intervention alone. Berberine with oral lipid lowering drugs was better than lipid lowering drugs alone in reducing the total cholesterol and LDL or bad cholesterol. Raising the level of HDLC as well. So I've never, I will say this, I've never really thought of berberine as a powerful HDL um, elevator. 
Now, um, in the comparative study between berberine and oral lipid-lowering drugs, there was no sig statistical significance in reducing the level of uh, total cholesterol and bad cholesterol, but or LDL. But berberine shows better effect in lowering the level of triglyceride and raising the level of HDL. Treatment of hyper hypertension, berberine with lifestyle intervention tended to lower the blood pressure more than either lifestyle intervention alone or placebo. Same occurred with berberine combined with oral hypotensive medication compared to the hypotensive medication alone. Uh, let me see if I can get that. Um, the rest of this, oh, I'm not going to be able to here. Let me. So, <clears throat> Conclusion, this study indicates that berberine has comparable therapeutic effects on type 2 diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and hypertension with no serious side effects. And considering the low cost, um, berberine might be a good alternative. So that's basically what I said in my previous video, that I'm not giving up uh, metformin uh, to replace, uh, replace it with berberine, but again, there's good evidence that it is a helpful adjunct. Um, and as you might guess, uh, I can't show it because of some, some of my own technical difficulties. Uh, they it, they uh, suggested further study, as they always do. Thanks for your attention. Or